Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Viridia here, and today I'm going to be uh, starting the uh, a series where I basically walk you through the Daedric quests of Skyrim. And today we're going to start uh, with the um, with the Black Star uh, quest, and this is the this is the quest that you get uh, for the Daedric uh, deity Azura, and we're going to be going in alphabetical order. <clears throat> so the Black Star quest um, is where we're going to start at. So basically, to begin this quest, you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to go to uh, a barkeep. Uh, you know, I, I choose uh, Holga in White Run because she seems to give you the quest immediately, and she'll talk to you and ask you, "Hey, have you been and seen the the Shrine of Azura?" And uh, once she said this, you're going to want to check your miscellaneous quests, and in there, you're going to have uh, you know the the ability to go and check it out. So if you haven't um, if you haven't found this place before, you can always um, you can always fast travel close and then kind of ride up the mountain. And uh, so just a normal path. There's a few wolves on the path. Once you get to the top of the mountain, you're going to find um, Aranea. Uh, she's at the altar and she's praying. You're going to want to talk to her, and basically she tells you about the uh, there's an elven man who came to her in a vision. Um, and he can turn the brightest star black as night. She suggests that you go look for this enchanter in uh, in Winterhold. And so basically, what you're going to want to do is is go to Winterhold. And uh, every time you go to Winterhold, there seems to be a goddamn dragon flying around trying to kill you. So take that out. <clears throat> Once you're done doing that, uh, you can speak to pretty much anybody in the city. Uh, I recommend just going in and talking to the bartender, and uh, they're going to point you to the elderly man. To your right, he's literally right next uh, into the room next to you. So basically, you're gonna find Nelikar in the room next to uh, ne next to the bar bartender, and he's going to. You're gonna need to either intimidate, persuade, or pay him off to get him to talk My about Azura Star. Um, and uh, he goes, he's gonna tell you that basically, unlike a regular soul gem, this this star allows you to pass as many number of souls through it as you want without it breaking. He basically tells you that there was a man named Malin and he was trying to turn it uh, black so that he could trap black souls and uh, it resulted in several deaths of the students, blah blah blah. And he has uh, retreated to a place called uh, Lenalta's Keep. So, yay, now you get to travel across the world to Lenalta's Keep. It's in this little alcove, like where the where the lake is. If you turn around, you'll, you'll see it. Basically, it looks like a building has fallen into the water. You'll go into that trap hatch, and then you'll be finding your way through these uh, hordes of necromancers with their skeletons. Now, I would be very careful here because they are pretty powerful, um, and they can cause you some damage. Uh, pretty, you know, at the end of the ma maze, you're going to run into like a master necromancer. Kill the necromancer, and then climb the spiral stairs to the left, and there you're going to find. Um, you're gonna find Malin's resting place. That's him sitting on the bench, and then to his right, uh, you will find Azura's star, and it's pretty banged up. So what you're gonna want to do then is just climb up the ladder, get out of there, and this is where the quest kind of takes a, uh, a fork. You can go one of two ways here, and we're gonna start with the um, we're gonna start with going and talking to Nelikar. So if you go and talk to Nelikar, he basically informs you that. Um, that what he was doing was trying to turn it into the Black Star rather than, than purify it, turning it back into Azura Star. And that really the only way he can get it to work is if he gets Malin out of there. And uh, and so basically he's like, okay, we're going to send you in there. So you go inside the star and you fight Malin. Now when you're in there fighting Malin, he's going to have two Dramoras helping him out. And they are very powerful when it comes to fire attacks. So be sure and equip something that uh, potion, use a potion or equip something that's resistant to fire. Make yourself really resistant and then get in there and, and, and kick some ass. Once you've killed those two, take Malin down and you can take his frostbite staff and you'll get the black, the black star uh, when you come out. Now, alternatively, you can st instead of going to uh, Nalikar, you can go to you can go to um, Ariana or Aranea, whatever, however you say your name. You can go to Aranea and ask her to help you out. In this case, she tells you that Azura wants to speak to you, so you put your hands on the altar, and Azura tells you pretty much the same thing, that she can purify it back to its original form if you go in there and kick Malin's ass. So, uh, you basically go back in there and do the exact same thing, but instead of getting the Black Star, you will get Azura Star. Now, the difference between these stars is the Black Star can capture Black Souls, 
which are souls of innocent people pretty much walking Farewell, around the town. Mortal. Azura Star can capture the uh, the souls of uh, anything else. So basically, just normal enemies that you fight. Um, but not only that, if you do this Azura's way, you also get RNA as a follower, and she is a very competent mage. So I would do that. Uh, but anyway, use your own discretion. Go whichever way you wish. Thank you for watching. Hope I helped. Later.